Two, good night. Text by Christine Gare and Giselle Legare. Illustrations by Pierre Brignard. Coloration by Marcel De Prado. Play with me, mommy, says Caillou. In a minute, mommy replies. First, I have to put Rosie to bed. Your baby sister needs lots of sleep. <laughs> I don't have to go to bed yet, says Caillou. Caillou is proud of being a big boy. While Rosie sleeps, he can stay up with mommy and daddy. He takes some games out of the cupboard, games that are too hard for Rosie. Caillou loves throwing the dice. He moves his red marker. I'd like to play too, says daddy. Then it's mommy's turn. Caillou wishes his turn would last forever. He loves winning. The game is over, but Caillou wants to keep playing. It's time for bed, mommy tells him. But I'm not tired, Caillou complains. Hurry up, Caillou, says daddy. Put on your pajamas and brush your teeth. Then I'll read you a story. Caillou hurries. He climbs into bed. I'm ready, daddy. Caillou loves it when daddy reads him stories. Caillou hides under the covers and pretends to be scared by the deep, gruff voice daddy uses. But the story is over all too soon. Read me another one, daddy, Caillou pleads. You'll get another story tomorrow, mommy promises as she gives Caillou a kiss. She tucks him in and whispers in his ear, night night, sweet dreams, Caillou. Then daddy kisses Caillou goodnight too. Leave the door open, daddy, says Caillou. He doesn't like sleeping in the dark. You're not alone, Caillou. You've got Teddy, mommy tells him. Mommy and daddy go out and leave the door slightly open. Mommy, I'm scared, cries Caillou. Daddy calls out, go to sleep, Caillou. We're right here. Caillou hugs his teddy closer to him. Little by little, he becomes used to the darkness. Caillou listens. He hears water running. It's mommy having a bath. Then he hears a voice. It's daddy talking on the phone. Caillou doesn't feel alone anymore. Soon he is fast asleep. Good morning, Caillou. Did you sleep well? Mommy asks. Oh, yes, he replies. You're a big boy now, Daddy tells him. You fell asleep all by yourself. Caillou looks at Daddy in surprise. That's right, he says. And I was hardly scared at all. Maybe just a little bit. Caillou grins at Daddy. He is proud of being a big boy. Tonight, we'll play the game again and I'll win, exclaims Caillou.